Moving to Philly has been exciting. It wasn't easy for us finding the ideal spot, especially with my family growing, three kids now. I'm traveling on the road all the time, constantly different cities, different hotels. So at any time that I get to come home, it's always nice. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Hi. All right, I got a good feeling. Want to see this place? My name is Marie Henderson. I am a realtor and a member of the National Association of Realtors. And here it is. Oh, wow. When I was a kid, my grandmother was a real estate broker. And when my husband was playing in the NBA, we did a lot of moving around, a lot of traveling. I felt like we weren't getting the best information. And when my son was in the NBA, I saw where a lot of the players weren't getting good negotiating. I felt that I could do a better job. This would be your family room. Very nice. You is just incredible. Yeah. All of downtown Philly. Yeah, yeah, no, this is, this is a great space here. So I linked up with Marie through the 76ers. After our first conversation, she kind of identified what we were expecting, what we were looking for, and we just took off from there. The things that we're really looking for is this open space. This place has it, at least four bedrooms like we talked about. Right. And for me, personally, I want a big bathtub, something that I can get in, whether it's Epsom salt or ice. And most importantly, we need a, a very big closet. Oh, big, no big question. So for, for you, for, my, for you or for, Amelia? For me, but for my wife, we definitely need it. Having, you know, three kids makes things more challenging. Your wish list goes, you know, it expands, you know, a lot more. Clients come in and they want this, 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 and that. I already know that they're probably not going to get all that they want on that wish list, but you have to explain that and show it to the client. And then when they're out there looking, they may change their mind and say, well, now I see this. I like this even better. You've got two tot lots, a swimming pool. You got the pet area for the dogs. Yorkies, yeah. You've got fitness center, concierge, ballet parking. I think this is perfect for you all. I know you're spoiling me. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is good. Some of the other properties that we looked at for Al, one was on the main line. You can get a big home, but the commute was going to take him an hour to get to Camden. And he was willing to do it for his family. But this place is perfect. He's 10 minutes from the practice facility. He's 10, 15 minutes to the arena in the airport. She understood what we were looking for and what we wanted, and so we were able to pivot from that property to this one. Wow, well, you even have a view from in the kitchen. All right, so I can be oh, yeah. kind of chopping it up here. <laughs> Nah, I don't cook. Man. I know, right? <laughs> My mom would be very excited about this. It would be Dominican food, so it would be plantains and all that, all Ooh, that good stuff. Yeah. So she, she'll be cooking up a storm here. I basically tell a client to just take one year in the city, get to know the area, and then you make a decision where you want to move from there. If you want to invest in a place. Not being from Philly, we weren't quite familiar. So we really leaned on her. We could see a house on the internet and it looks great, but then we find out that it's probably not in the best neighborhood for our family. The blackouts here would be would be great. Right. They're a must for me. You know, they're very tightly sealed and there's no, no, no space light coming in between. through here. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, okay. that's what's most important in this room. I'll check with the leasing agent to make sure they'll be able to install those for you. I probably look for things that are a little different than what the normal agent would look for. When I walk into a space, the first things I look for are the ceiling heights and the high showers. If training camp is starting at a certain time, they need to be in the place before training camp starts and have their families settled. This you don't is, have to worry about no, ducking this is, anywhere. This is huge for me. I love these high doors. Apartment living, I haven't done that before. I've been in other places, I've been in houses. But if we want it to be in the middle of everything, we can literally walk to museums, walk to parks, great restaurants, this is like a first real experience for me. Ooh, all right. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Woo! Yes. My goodness. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> look at this view. And look how no, large the space is. And the sprints over here. I know, right? Yeah, you can't beat yeah, this. this. Is, yeah, yeah, it's this incredible. Is awesome. This is awesome. When I look at some of the players coming in, especially the rookies, I, I see my son in them. I treat them 
how I would, my son, when they're maybe moving on or um, going to another city, they'll call me and I'll help them in that new city as well. Once you know your family's settled, you can go back to doing your job as a basketball player. I really appreciate you taking the time oh, and no, looking out was, for us. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> well, she really, you know, understood what my family and I needed. She knew the demands of my job. Getting started with an NBA season and being in a new city with a new family and all the things that that came with. Just knowing that I could help his family sign with a new team, a new city, kids are being relocated to know that I was able to help him get it all done in that short period of time, it's a good feeling. We do wanna make this feel like our home and just dive into the community here, really get into it, get the feel for Philadelphia. And we don't wanna feel like we're one foot in and one foot out, like, you know, we're all in, we're here, and, uh, and we're happy.